Okay, so hopefully you've got some sort of video that you've recorded that you're somewhat happy with um, and that doesn't have any kids in it. Um, that, you know, whatever skill you chose to teach, whether you chose to teach it at your desk under the document camera, whether you chose to teach it in front of the class, whether you chose to teach it, you know, in a, on a carpet area or outside or wherever you did, um, you should have some sort of three to five minute video that you're happy to share with uh, other people. If you don't have a three to five minute video, or less time is okay too, of course, um, that you're happy to share with other people, then you have to go back and try again. Don't proceed with this next step yet, because then other people will see it and then you won't be very happy at all. Um, so before you can do this next step, you want to make sure that you have a way to get the video onto your computer. So the, the video, if it's on a video camera, you want to be able to put it on an SD card or a memory stick or something that works or just be able to connect your camera to your computer. Um, whether if it's on your phone or your tablet device, you want to be able to either sync with your hard with your um, laptop or your computer, or you want to be able to, again, uh, use a USB cord to connect to them, or email it, or put it on a memory stick, and somehow get it to your computer. Um, and I suggest at first when you store it, you either store it right on your desktop so you can see it, or you create a folder called videos right on your desktop and you put all of your video stuff in there at first um, just until you get used to seeing how to organize it and seeing what your own personal um, workflow is and how that works best for you so once you've done that um, once you are uh, able to get the video to your computer please put that video either in the folder that you created or just put it right on your desktop if you're having trouble doing that, um, please ask somebody, how do I get this video onto my desktop? Because that will be, that will be, you know, very important. And um, I'm, you can look at some of the videos um, on, on the different ways of doing things. If, if the videos I have, on the different ways of doing, you know, taking classroom videos, and they'll all include some sort of storage um, device and how to get them to your desktop. Uh, if the videos I've done don't help you, go to YouTube and type in um, what it is you're looking for. Type in a couple of search terms for what it is you're looking for and see if that helps you. Um, find what you need. And if you're, again, if that doesn't work, you know, Google it. You can also ask somebody. So there are some strategies that you can use to try to figure out how to do what you need to do, um, which in this case is get that video that you made right on your desktop. Um, once you have the video on your desktop, you're going to go ahead to your YouTube account and you're going to make sure you're logged into your YouTube account. Okay, and you're going to click on your um, upload. You're going to click upload once you're sure that you're logged in. And you're going to just put that video up on your YouTube. <coughs> and then what I'm going to ask you to do um, is share the link with us so that we can see your video. Okay, um, you can also, if you have a classroom web page, you can put the link there. You can email it. Um, go ahead and email it to uh, transparencyproject at gmail.com. I'll be happy to take a look at it. Also, if you have parents who will take a look, you can email it to parents if, if, you know, if it's something you want them to see. If you email with your parents, you can also email it to other teachers and say, hey, what do you think of this? You know, and get some feedback. If you post it on the forums here, we'll be happy to give you some feedback too. Um, hopefully, there will be people... Um, looking at the forums, but if um, if you're not getting feedback there, definitely send it to me. Um, the, uh, just the link. The, so go what do you upload it to YouTube, and if you're not sure how to do that, go back to the course on YouTube um, and review that. And then um, all you have to do after it's uploaded is click on the video, and the link will be right across the top, right across the bar in the top. That big long thing. You click on it, and then you copy it, and then paste it into an email and send it to me. Um, and if, if you're having trouble with that, send me your username on YouTube and tell me the name of your video. And I will, uh, I'll be happy to go looking for it. Um, but I am looking forward to uh, what, you're, what you've come up with. And um, also, if you make a post in the forum, please uh, put your video and then please put the feedback um, for how the process went for you, what you'd do differently next time, what you liked, what worked, what didn't work, um, so that 
this can not only help you, but it will help other teachers when they're trying to um, put some of their material together as well. So um, good luck. Get your videos out there for people to see what's happening. Um, have your students access them. And I uh, want to thank you for uh, working so hard. So enjoy.